Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Rahanna. We're playing more Gakko in Heaven 2. We're starting off with Takuto's route today. Um, last time was the very first video with Yuki heading off to the library, bumping into Takuto and Kuya along the way. And now we're actually going to get to see the library. So we'll pick up here. <clears throat> And I think I pointed this out in an another video the first time we went to the library at some point. Um, this library is based on a real library that exists in the real world. Um, where is it? I think it's the Stockholm Library. If you look it up, you'll see pictures of a library that looks exactly like this. And if you um, even look at the floor here, it's, it's kind of hard to see because the, the text window is in the way here and the sprites are in the way, but even the pattern on the floor is the same as the real library. So, um, no points for originality here, but it is definitely impressive. It has the largest collection of a high school library in all of Japan. In the entire country? When a student who graduated several years ago donated the collection that was left to him by his grandfather, that opportunity was used to make a large addition to the library. Therefore, the book collection here, quality and quantity, became even more substantial. So it was a donation by a student. I heard it was the son of an affluent family in Ishikawa. His grandfather was very much a connoisseur. And this is actually a reference to Sionji from the first game. Um, he's from Ishikawa. He was very close to his grandfather. And he is the one who made the donation here. Like, they don't come out and say it, but that's definitely what you're supposed to pick up from this. This is clearly a reference to Sionji from the first game. Sohoka? Skimono? Affluent? Connoisseur? And the way Yuki's saying it, and you can tell by the way it's written, there's no kanji, that he doesn't know these words. He's just repeating the sounds. Yuki, you need to study. <laughs> ah. Oh, it means an obsession of the wealthy. なるほど。You'd be astonished at these rare books about Japanese painting from the Edo period to the beginning of the Showa era. それらの揃いは一高校の範囲を超えた日本有数のものと言えるでしょう。you could even say the collection goes beyond that of a high school and is one of the foremost in all Japan. Just having free use of this library makes enrolling at BL school worth it. Wow. So how many books are there in all? Since the edition was built several years ago, it now possesses a collection of over one million volumes. One million? With that many, you could never read them all. Yes. It really is wonderful. He seems happy. And come to think of it, there were a lot of books in the student council room, too. Takata-san must really like books. Sora. I know. Which book do you recommend? Since there's so many books here, I think I should read at least one of them. So, is there a good book? A recommendation? What kind of book would you like? Me? So... <laughs> we get a choice here. And this is actually a funny choice. You can ask for a book that'll make me smarter or whatever you recommend. If you ask for a book that makes you smarter, he literally gets the dictionary off the shelf and tells you to read it. 
And then when you ask him, did you read this book? He says, yes. All of it? Yes. So, yeah, he gets pretty sassy with him if you just ask, I want to be smarter. A book that'll make me smarter. So let's be respectful and ask him for a book he recommends. Anything that you recommend. I don't read very many books, so I don't know what I'd like. So, I'd like to try reading a book that someone who enjoys reading likes. Which book do you like, Takato-san? Hmm. With this many books, choosing one would be hard. But if he has a favorite book, that'll be quicker. Hmm. <laughs> A book I like that you would read. Um, you don't have to think about it that seriously. No, since you don't read very much normally, but you feel like reading. I think I'd like to have you read an interesting book. If you're going to read it, it should be interesting, right? Mm. Yeah. But since I don't really read books, it can be anything. If it can be anything, please come with me for a bit. Of course. He's kind of serious, even though I just said it lightheartedly. Even though you say you don't read books, it's not that you haven't read a single book in your entire life, is it? Well, a few. But it's just comics and light novels. Is there anything you found interesting among those? Um, I'm reading a manga now, but... Uh, there's a comic I'm reading now called Dogful, which is interesting. Although I've only read halfway through so far. Because there's 63 volumes in total. Oh, you know it? It was a well made work, and after all, the girls are cute. Right, right. Like Ruri. It's really hard to say names like that. The one with long black hair. She's cute, a kind, good girl. Yeah, but that character. No, that would be a spoiler. What's that supposed to mean? Now I want to know. What volume have you read up to? About 50? Ah. What does that ah sound mean? Ah. In about five more volumes, maybe? Ah, I want to know. Look forward to it. Since you've already said so much, please tell me. It's not my custom to give spoilers, but it is my custom to tease you about them, I guess. When I get back to my room, I'm going to continue reading it right away. So even you read comics, Takato-san? Comics, novels, if it's a book that interests me, I'll, I'll read anything. Even light novels? Of course, I believe I left some in the student council room. Then, have you read Zombie-chan? So that was like an abbreviation of the name, and here's, here's the full name. The False Zombies Gregorian Chant. So, so, 
小説だけどすごく面白かったんだよな。Yeah, that one. It's a novel, but it was really interesting. ああいう本なら俺も読めるかも。Even I might read a book like that one. そうですか。I see. でも、やっぱラノベは置いてないですよね。俺まだ4巻読んでないんだけど。But after all, there's no light novels here. I haven't read volume four yet. 残念ながら。この図書館にはありません。Unfortunately, it's not in this library. ですよね。Really? 代わりに、この本などいかがでしょう Instead, how about this book? ステラ・マリスの夏 ?The Summer of Stella Maris。あなたの趣味と傾向はおおよそ把握しました。I can't remember if that's a real book or not. Now I'm going to have to look it up. I've gotten a rough grasp of your interests and inclinations. おそらく好みに合うのではないかと。Perhaps this one will suit your tastes. どんな話なんですか What kind of story is it? 偶然に勇者として選ばれた男の子が異世界で知り合った友人たちと共に世界を救う冒険をする話です。It's a story about a boy chosen as a hero by chance who goes on an adventure to save the world with friends he meets in a parallel universe. 舞台となる海洋国家の描写が秀逸で読んでいると海を見たくなります。The depiction of the ocean country where it's set is excellent, and when you read it, it makes you want to see the ocean. Hey, it's Wow, it sounds interesting. The description of the ocean is a little hard to read. Because it's a translated book, the style is a little hard to read, and it's a bit of a sticking point, but I guarantee the contents are interesting. Then I'll try reading it. Thank you for choosing it. Thank you for choosing it. ついでにゾンビちゃんの新刊も読みますか By the way, do you also want to read the new volume of Zombie Chan? 読め持ってるんですか I do. Do you have it? え生徒会室にあるはずですから適当に持って行っていただいて構いません。Yes, it should be in the student council room, so I don't mind if you take it at some point. おそらく右手前の段ボールのどれかに入っているはずです。Probably it's in one of the cardboard boxes on the front right hand side. h o k a n i m Anataga Kiraija Nasasona, Ranobea Comics Mo Arimaskara, Oskini Dozo. There's other light novels and comics you might enjoy as well, so feel free. Dumbor no Doreka? Which cardboard box? Muskoste, Ano Dumbor te Mina Takato san of Hon Nandeska? Could it be those cardboard boxes are all your books? Chigaimas. No. Desio, <sighs> ne. Right. まあ、半分は私の本ですが、生徒会の資料や食料も入っていますから。Well, half of them are my books, but they also hold student council documents and food.、Uh, half of them? That's over ten boxes. All those cardboard boxes are full of books. That's too many. それじゃあ、お先に。Then I'll go on ahead. ではまた、生徒会室で。I'll see you in the student council room later. The library was a bit tiring, but it was very interesting. And Takuto san seemed to still be reading some book. That Takuto san, he really, really likes books. Yeah. He sure does. And you may be thinking, oh, Yuki, what a doofus saying, like, I don't really read books, and that just makes you sound like a dummy. But there's a reason for that, too. And we'll find out about that. Mm, kind of soon, I think. I can't remember exactly when he mentions it, but he, he talks about why he doesn't like to read. And it's, it's not because he's a, he's a doofnut. I mean, he is a doofnut, but the reason for, for not liking to read books is a little more interesting than that, not just I'm the stereotypical cutesy, kind of ditzy character who doesn't like things that involve school or books or whatever. So, look forward to seeing that. And I really wonder. Excuse me while I type a little bit here. Yeah, I don't think this、uh, Summer of Stella Maris thing is a real book. There's, a, there's apparently some sort of summer camp Called Stella Maris, so you could look that up if you want, but I don't think it's a real book unless,、um, 
unless it's in another language still and not just something I can look up in English because it was just the translated title that showed up here, you know, not a title in English. So who knows if it is a real book, which it may not be, you know, what language it was originally written in. I have no idea. But yeah, translation. I like how Takato pointed out, you know, the translation's a bit of a sticking point. Like, it makes it kind of awkward. I'm like, ha, well, let me tell you how much I know about things being awkward when you translate them. That's one of the things that's taking forever with the, the script is you go through and copy paste the text back into the original script and then you have to like mark all these lines. So you're like, you know what? There's just something a little tiny bit off and like, yeah, it's translated accurately, but it sounds kind of weird. So you have to go back and kind of fuss with it and then everything takes forever and you're just crying and your wrist is about to fall off because you've been using the mouse for too long and it's not good to copy and paste for three hours at a time and all that sort of good stuff. So, um, yeah, anyway, that finishes up the kind of date day thing. So I'm going to look through um, the script and see if there's any other Takato specific days or events in the comment. I think there is one specific. Yeah, there might be a few things, actually. His route kind of kicks off a little early and there's hints of it early on in the common route. Um, you can also activate the stuff a little later on if you choose to do so, but... I'm going to do it as if I'm playing, like I'm pursuing him from the very start. So we'll get to see the scenes as soon as they come up. So we'll get to kind of experience the full thing. So, um, you know, kind of like the way it's intended to be done. So next, I think will be kind of, might be a scene where, where Yuki's kind of sneaking around following Takuto because he's curious about him. I got to go through the, the script and, and pick out the next piece. But yeah, there should be some interesting stuff in it. It really does kind of ramp up pretty quickly. And we kind of, once we get into the Bell One and everything, we just kind of like really blast through the story. Like his, his story is really well paced. Um, after all my complaining about characters like Arata and Yagami, which really needed some editing and the story just kind of went on way too long past the Bell One and like drag, 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 drag. Takato's story is paced extremely well. And you can you can definitely tell that the, the writer liked him quite a bit because it's just so nice and neat and tight. And even though his script is super long, I think it's one of the longest scripts in the game, if just by line count, um, it doesn't feel like a long route that just drags on forever and makes you want to kill yourself because there there is that split that I mentioned that comes early on which between love route and friendship route, and they're both very well-developed routes. So whichever one you choose, it doesn't go on for a really long time, even though there's a lot of stuff in the route for each one. Each one is like an appropriate length. They're like equivalent to each other instead of one being lesser, which is really nice to see. Um, I'm going to stop rambling now. So thank you for watching that. Uh, I hope you'll come back next time for more Takato and I'll see you then. Thanks for watching.